Hey guys, Disco here, and today I'm reacting to the Multiverses Season 2 patch notes. This, this was posted July 23rd, and it's two days later. As of recording this, when this goes live, I want to say it'll be the 7th of August. So, <laughs> I apologize for how backed up I am right now in videos, but... That's just what happens when I get super busy and like a bunch of news happens, and then, you know, I'm trying to record it all. Uh, general. New fighter. Samurai Jack joins the multiverse. Joins the multiverse. Purchase the season two battle pass to immediately receive Samurai Jack as a playable fighter. Jason and Agent Smith are now available for purchase in the store for six thousand fighter currency or one thousand gleamium. The Joker's price has been lowered to three thousand fighter currency from six thousand fighter currency. New map Water Tower has been added to the game. Water Tower comes with three variants, default, locked door, and 1v1 versions. Ranked. Ranked Q is now available. Requires minimum account level 5. Mine's well past that, but whatever. Q up for 2v2 or 1v1 ranked matches. Earn ranked points to climb the ladder and earn seasonal cosmetics. Ranked matches are best of three sets, and leaving a match early won't carry a leave RP penalty. Same character teams are not allowed in ranked matches. Your tank is separate. Your rank is separate on each character you play. In each queue, you play them. Try to rank up as many characters as you can. And then here's some of the rank rewards. So you got, you know, bronze, which gives nothing. Silver, which gives some, like, ranked... Give some silver like ranked wins little icons gold has like gold versions a badge and then it looks like a samurai jack thing where it's like sort of gold uh platinum has the same background as gold but it's a platinum color now and then uh, a different like looking samurai jack th skin thing Diamond is, you know, the same thing. It's, like, different looking compared to gold and platinum. And the Master, the highest the highest one, has, again, the same things. But, like, all the colors and stuff are different. And then this right here is a closer-up picture of the Master Samurai Jack thing. Um, rifts. The Path of the Samurai Rift is now available. We will be releasing a new rift every two weeks during Season 2. Rift updates. Fix an issue where certain attacks would freeze on hitting destructible enemies. Events. Events now reward event currency slash tokens, which players can redeem for in-game items. We've added new event shops to exchange earned currency slash tokens for new themed skins and cosmetics. Event missions now release on a weekly basis. PvP games now also award event experience. Certain fighter variants are now tagged as boost variants. Equip boost variants during an event to increase experience rate when playing in PvP. The f what does any of this mean? Wait, I'm so, so confused. Boost speed? variants will increase experience rate for fighter mastery, battle pass, career, and event progression. Boost variants can be earned and used prior to the end of an event. Boost variants allow for accelerated progression, but are not required for event completion. So there are certain skins for characters that boost your progress? I don't understand. <laughs> combat changes. We are oh. looking at combat mechanics across the cast with an intent to reward more offensive gameplay. Huh. Several attacks have been updated to work better as combo starters. And we have adjusted ground jumps to allow for easier aerial approaches. We expect to have more changes to share in the mid-season patch. We are also updating the language in our patch notes. Previous patch notes have used the term branch window to describe the period of time where a player can input a new action to interrupt a fighter animation before it has completed. From now on, patch notes refer to this period as a cancel window. Fighters now maintain their ground momentum into a ground jump even if it exceeds their maximum airspeed. This allows for fighters to better jump in against defensive enemies. Fighters frozen by receiving maximum stacks of ice debuff now applies an, incapac an incapacitate resistance buff to frozen fighters. 
Fighter of fighters affected by the stop camping debuff can no longer gain any dodge meter until the fighters engage in combat. Stop camping, bitch. <laughs> well, camping will camp it screw up. Jason walks away sadly, like with with like sleeping bag behind him. <laughs> Fighters clinging to a wall will begin to slide faster after spending 1.5 seconds on the wall down for 2.5 seconds time until wall fatigue debuffs debuff unchanged. To raid bounce knockback has been standardized across the cast to prevent fighter characters from taking extra knockback from terrain bounces. Maximum weakened enemy maximum weakened debuff stacks have been reduced from free to free from five general bug fixes fix an issue where a fighter undergoing extremely high knockback would not be knocked away general perks air walker cancel window after platform spawn delayed six frames and now we're on to characters which there's quite a few of them i really it might be the there looks like there's quite a few of them so this will be the long part of the video. I just know it. These always take forever. So let's just jump into this and get it over with and move on with my life. Agent Smith. Agent Smith had a successful early introdu introduction to the multiverse. We're looking to tone down his most toxic loops while giving him some quality of life changes to keep him feeling fresh for anyone looking to purchase him in season two. That would be me. And me. I want him so goddamn badly. I want to shoot people with a gun. Are you kidding me? He's got an actual gun. Like, yeah. hell yeah. He has all kinds of cool moves. He can make a clone of himself. It's and great. Weird tech bug thing, the flinging. Oh, yeah, that thing is kind of weird. I think it is a reference to the movies. But yeah, I just wouldn't know because I've never watched one. Again, the one I saw, Agent Smith wasn't even in it. So. I've only seen clips and. I've, I've only uh, seen the fourth one, which is considered hot garbage, but I liked it, <laughs> so whatever. Uh, Apparently, yeah, my uh, my cousin's husband actually hate, hates that. He doesn't like uh, that. He, because we were talking about something with him, he mentioned that he didn't like it all, and I was like, well, I liked it, but I like a lot of bad things. And yeah. my other, my, because it was my cousin, and then my other cousin's husband, and then me, and then my cousin was just like, that's fair. Cause you yeah, know, for I, me, I feel like there's a lot of things like so I like some, uh, recent like Star Wars movies and like oh I like I stuff. like those like, but I'm there's certain things I've seen where like I'm like eh, pretty good and then like or whatever and like people I've heard people like you go like, onto Reddit it's just what the f is this I'm like like I didn't think it was that bad like I or even bad I, burning I, like, holy I, fire blah 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 I just thought it was fine. Yeah. Um, fix an issue where Agent Smith, Agent Smith's sticker emote taunt was playing in the, playing the wrong animation. Fix an issue where certain animations have misaligned hit hurt boxes. Mm. Ground dash attack. First hit, now more consistently combos in the gunshot hits. Hell yeah. And then first hit, hitbox active duration increased six frames. Ground side attack 1, on hit, jump, cancel, window, advance 12 frames, reverted from patch 1.07. Hitbox startup time delayed 1 frame, air slash ground neutral attack, ground version, can no longer slide off ledge, now breaks armor. Air down attack, on hit, cancel, window, delayed by 3 frames. Air up attack, repeat, move, lock, lock out, increase to 16 frames from 8 frames. Ground down special. Now applies incapacitate resistance buff to incapacitate enemies. Now breaks armor. Air neutral special. Start up one double four charge. Increase four frames. Ground version unchanged. Arya. She's fun, but man, is she weird. For me, at least. Yeah, I barely played her, honestly. I played her when she was in the free rotation because I wanted to, like, I level her like, up like, a little I bit. Like, I think we played, like, one time doing that. No reason. I just, I don't know. Uh, air slash ground neutral special. Stone attack from face stealing another Aria now applies incapacitate resistance buffs to incapacitated enemies. Batman, ground dash attack one. I 
If we go for the entire roster, I'm going to be a little upset because I'm going <laughs> to be here forever. Which did happen in a previous patch note where yeah. they did the entire roster, and I was just... I remember I got to a point where it's like, I just want to be done. I mean, at least for, like, there shouldn't be Jack, because he just became a character. You know, that is true. Uh, Batman ground dash attack. One hit stun reduced, automatic cancel window, and the second hit advanced A-frames. Ground down attack. Unchanged knockback increased to 1650 from 1425. Error slash ground neutral attack fixed an issue where battle ring would not apply weakened when thrown for Batman smoke. Air slash ground neutral special. Fixed an issue where Bat Bomb could attach to two enemies at the same time. If it if an attack hit two enemies on the same frame. Black Adam. Oh my god, we're okay. Okay. <laughs> Some of them are shorter than others, luckily, but still. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I'm still not sure what the end is, but here we go, boys. So far, it's, got, it's been going through every character alphabetically because, like, you know, the actual like fighter roster, like, it's alphabetical, at least now it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, Black Adam, air slide attack. First hit knockback scaling reduced to 1 from 5. This should help the attack link better into the second hit against enemies with high damage. Did they, did they mention Banana Guard? Not yet, no. Then, so far, besides him, it's been going in the exact order. Like, if you see Smith, Arya, Patman, Black Adam, it's just technically... If it, and After Adam is Boggs. Well, that's also... So maybe they didn't touch Banana Guard, so maybe he's just fine. And then after Boggs, it says Garnet. Okay, so they skipped Fan. But again, I don't know but if those I, characters are still in here or not. But otherwise, they're, like, in order of, For like, a second the there, at least, screen, yeah. So. <laughs> um, air slash ground side special fix and ensure the projectile would be destroyed after being reflected. Bugs Bunny, ground side special. Now applies incapacitate resistance buff to incapacitate enemies. Garnet. Okay, so Garnet goes into Gizmo. Yeah, Is that, like, the roster, too? I think so. I think it is. Uh, ground up attack. Full charge, third hit, damage increase to 8 from 4. Ooh. Max charge multiplier decreased to 1. Huh. Uh, or to 1.5x from 2x, meaning the damage on this hit has increased to 12 from 8. Full charge third hit knockback increased to 1850 from 1650. Uh, fully, full charge third hit knockback scaling increased to 20.5 from 16.5. Full charge third hit knockback made more vertical. Air slash ground neutral special. Added speed particle effect for fighters was at least one stack of rhythm buffs. A rhythm buff. Alright, so guess my guess into Harley, I guess. Mm. Uh, air slash ground neutral attack. Arrow. Gizmo, air slash ground neutral attack. Arrow charge jump height adjusted for better match normal jump. To better match normal jump height. Ground down attack. Music notes spawned by this attack while attached to an ally. No longer deal knockback. No longer has a hitbox on the piano while attached to an ally. I forget how you even attach to allies, but I've done it a few times. Air slash ground up special. Maximum ally attack. Attach time reduced to 8 seconds from 10 seconds. Rhythm's gonna getcha perk. Now applies incapacitate resistance buff to incapacitate enemies. Harley Quinn. Down... Da ground dash attack first hit more reliably combos into finally oh, okay iron giant is next still in order this is taking forever though i'm not complaining but it's just like jeez man air side attack one second hit knockback scaling reduced to one from eight this should help the attack link better into air attack into air side attack two against Enemies with high damage, air slash ground neutral special, bomb self attach, lockout increased to one second from 0 0.5 seconds. Iron Giant. Iron Giant has had his time in the shop, but he still remains a menace in PvP games. <laughs> his defensive tools feels a little overbearing right now, so we're looking to tweak his hit hurt boxes and increase hit this received hit stun so he feels more like a normal fighter at a low damage. Uh, low damage. 
Hopefully, if they slightly weaker defense, he will feel more in line with the rest of the cast. General, fix an issue where certain animations had misaligned hurt boxes, increased hit stun taken, slightly reduced knockback taken at low damage, reduced hit pause, influence modifier at low damage, reduced weight to 140 from 150. Passive, Iron Giant no longer gives himself a Florence buff while he while he has gray health, LA Florence unaffected. Gray health gains from rage mode now scales based on bolts down from 30. Burst cooldown increased to 37 seconds from 29 seconds. Ground side attack 1, on whiff cancel delayed 4 frames. Air neutral attack, on whiff cancel window delayed 4 frames. Less aerial momentum is maintained on hit. Air side attack, first hit startup window increased 3 frames, second hit for Hit timing updated to compensate. Final hit timing unchanged. Animation timing unchanged. Not back reduced 2200 from 2850. He got a lot of changes, <laughs> by the way. So expect me to be here for a bit before saying the next character. <laughs> Ground side special. Okay, now, okay, see the next character's name is Jake. Okay. Now applies incapacitate resistance buff to incapacitate enemies. Air down special. Air cancel window delayed 16 frames. Ground version unchanged. Landing active hitbox duration reduced 2 frames. Rage mode air slash ground side special. Now applies incapacitate resistance buff to incapacitate enemies. The camera might die before I get through all of this. We'll see. <laughs> Static. That's how long this is. Static discharge perk. Perk is currently disabled while we update Iron Giant's passive. Jake. We still feel like Jake has not been performing up to his potential in PvP. We will look to address this more with our mid-season update. But for now, we want to give him a few new tools to help him out. General. Fix an issue where certain animation have misaligned hurt boxes. Ground dash attack. Startup window reduced 8 frames. First hit more reliably combos than the second and third hits. Third hit damage increased to 7 from 5. Third hit knockback increased to 2150 from 1850. Third hit knockback scaling increased to 20 from 16. Or 18, I mean. Third hit knockback angle made more horizontal. Air slash neutral air neutral attack 1. Knockback scaling increased to 8 from 0. Knockback angle made from made more vertical. Hit stun increased more aerial mo momentum. Is maintained on tax startup. And then it goes into Jason and then LeBron. Uh, air neutral attack 2 is now air neutral attack. Neutral special follows, follow up. Input requirement changed to neutral special after air attack attack. After air neutral attack. Using this attack consumes one, one air special. Now launches Jake upwards and forwards. Now only hits one time. Knockback increased to 2100 from 1000. Knockback scaling increased to 18 from 10. Knockback angle made more horizontal. Hitbox size increased. Jason. Ground side attack 1. Hit stun reduced slightly. Resurrectionist perked. Resurrected fighters are now immediately wrung out when the effect ends instead of being launched upwards. Jesus Christ, there's so many characters. LeBron. Air side attack, no basketball. On hit, cancel window, advance two frames. Marvin, air slash ground neutral uh, special. Repeat, move, look at, walk out, increase to 15 frames from eight frames. Morty. Morty has a strong resilience to his ground special, side special, that promotes a very campy gameplay. We want to reduce the power of his ground side special while giving him some quality of life buffs to see how he performs with better close range tools. Ground side attack 1, hitbox size increased. Ground side, ground side attack, neutral attack, follow up, whip, hitbox size increased. Ground up attack, snake projectile collision adjusted so they are less likely to instantly collide with terrain on spawn. Air side attack 1, knockback angle made slightly more vertical, knockback increased from, to 1400 from 1000, knockback scaling increased to 6 from 5. Air side attack 2. Hitbox size adjusted, hitbox startup delayed one frame. Ground side special now has a max spawn range of 1900 units. Rain dog, ground neutral attack, on hit cancel window, advanced 22 frames. Air version unchanged. 
Ground up attack with hitbox active duration increased four frames. Visuals now better match hitbox timing. Ground side special fix an issue where Rain Dog could use his attack in the air. It, or it could use his attack in the air. Air up special. Oh my god, there's so many. And so far, I've only skipped two characters. Fix so. an issue where his attack would automatically cancel near edges of the blast zone. Fix an issue where this attack would prevent Rain Dog from refreshing air resources when landing. Fix an issue where this attack would not properly branch in a ground up special. Rick, ground down attack. Knockback increased to 1750 from 1500. Knockback scaling reduced to 6 from 12. Hit stunner increased. Air slash ground side special. Fix an issue where the cooldown would visually begin before portals were destroyed. Shaggy, Rage Ground Down Special. Fix an issue where the shockwave would appear visually above the ground. Rage Air Ground Special. Fix an issue where the shockwave would appear visually above the ground. Steven Universe, General. Fix an issue where air ne neutral dodges would not consume, were not consuming air evades. Fix an issue where certain animations had misaligned to hit hurt boxes. Ground Dash Attack. First hit more. Reliably combos in the second hit. Second hit now comes out faster after first hit. Stripes. General. Fix an issue where animations have misaligned hurt boxes. Ground down attack. Knockback handle made more um, diagonal towards stripe. Air slash ground neutral special. No longer allows dodge canceling between shots. Air side special. Fix an issue where stripes would occasionally teleport to the wrong target on hit. Oh my god, there's so many characters. Okay. Air slash ground special. Now applies a 6 second cooldown when the d dynamite explodes. Now limited to 2 ammo with a 15 second ammo cooldown. Superman! Superman! Air slash, uh, air side attack. Less aerial momentum is maintained on attack startup. And air neutral attack. Less aerial can momentum is maintained on hit. Taz. Taz has seen a lot of play due to a limited number of overpowered tools. Want to see more diversity of attacks in, in Taz gameplay. So we've limited the power of his more abusive attacks. Like ground up attack. And ground neutral attack while buffing some of his less used attacks to give him a more balanced game plan. General, fix an issue where certain animations have misaligned hurt boxes. Ground dash attack, first hit, more reliably combos in the second hit. Ground neutral attack now applies additional stacks of, cat, of tasty debuff based on charge time. Uncharged damage increased to 7.5 from 4. Uncharged knockback increased to 2400 from 1450. Knockback made more horizontal. Hit stun increased. On hit cancel window advanced reframes. Ground up attack. Char charge can no longer be held indefinitely. Attack auto triggers. After holding input from, for 1.3 seconds, on with cancel window delay for frames. Air neutral attack now applies additional stacks of tasty debuff before based on charge time. Air slash ground neutral special. Now it's projectile immunity on certain hurt boxes while attempting to eat. Air slash ground side special. Restricted momentum on hit to prevent the attack from dropping multiple hits. Final hit damage increased to 10 from 8. Knockback increased from to 2150 from 1850. Knockback scale increased to 255 from 245. Air slash ground special. Now apply stacks of tasty debuff on hit. To if used to reflect an enemy projectile, I gotta get in their perk. Otherwise, can no longer enter the d dog pile after it has hit an enemy. This will fix issues with allies getting stuck in Taz after the attack has concluded. Iron Stomach perk fix an issue where the anvil's item pickup label was displayed incorrectly. The Joker General fix an issue where certain animations had misaligned hurt boxes. Ground side attack 1 on with cancel window delayed by 6 frames. Air up special no longer prevents terrain bounce on knockback. On knockback. Air down special on hit cancel window delayed 3 frames. On with cancel window delayed 1 frame repeat move block out increase to 20 frames from 15 frames. Tom and Jerry. Air up attack oh my god. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Sweet spot removed. This sweet spot was misconfigured and you're impossible to hit. Tom and Jerry's error up attack was already strong, was out the sweet spot, so the sweet spot has been removed. Air up special now launches Tom higher on startup. Velma. Ground down special mystery machine. Fix an issue where the mystery machine could grab two fighters if it hit them on the same frame. Wonder Woman. Ground side attack 1. On hit cancel window in the ground side attack 2. Advance 2 frames. Oh my god, I see the end. I see it. Let's go! This has been 25 minutes! Oh, Air slash ground neutral special. Cooldown removed. Repeat move lockout. Increase to 8 frames from 0 frames. On whiff cancel window delayed 8 frames. Whip of Hephaestus perk, lasso and whiff cancel window delayed for 8 frames. Grapple of Hermes perk, lasso and whiff cancel window delayed 16 frames. And, um, and we're done. So we have skip 3 characters, one of them mocks being the new character. Well, yeah. And then two of them, Iron Giant and Taz, got a crap ton of changes. They did get a lot. <laughs> and um, then a couple of them got like one change, and that was it. Yeah, like. Maybe. I can't tell them they got very many. He got like. I'm so happy we both have Uncle Shag worthy. Yeah. Yeah. That's my boy. I have a lot of skins or characters. Like, I, I have, have a few. Yeah. I have one, at least one for Stephen Shaggy. Not Soon. But not quite. I have that one already. Uh, you, you, you. Uh, you, of course, uh, yeah. a ton for you. I think he has the most number of outfits of any character because of all the events. Because there's Matrix, there's the Shark Hat, there's this, there's the Battle Pass outfit. Like, uh, still nothing for you. Although, if I get the Battle Pass for this season, I'll get something. And then I have one for him. Oh, yeah, so there's a bike. Oh, yeah, and then, you know, I got this. I, I got this cause, probably because I wasn't sure if prestige stuff would like weave like after the season ended so I wanted to make sure I got the skin in some way so hey uh and then I have I'd this. like to get both of them those versions at some point and and then you know I have this yeah. uh this some other stuff and then she has an outfit and I don't think yeah I don't have anything for these guys I think that's yeah yeah so kind of final thoughts guys i they changed every character but three yeah one of them being the new character one of them's of course the new character so that's kind of whatever um but yeah i mean so obviously that's a good thing right just constant balancing updates stuff like that um and then i i still don't understand some of it i think it's really cool um that we got you know the rift and like the event stuff um, I think it's cool that Ranked is going to give you, like, some Samurai Jack skins of, like, the gold weapons, and then yeah. diamonds, and then, you know, like, and all that. I don't, I kind of doubt me and Orange will ever get those, yeah. but, um, if, if, if it works, if it does happen, that'd be super cool. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, the new map of the Water Tower is super cool. And then, obviously, there's some other really cool stuff, like how... Jason and Smith are now available for purchase. Um, that was Fighter Currency or, of course, Glamium. That's super cool. Jason, uh, Joker's prices going down is super cool. Really nice. So, yeah, a lot of good changes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, ring the bell. Do all the algorithmic garbage. It helps us out a lot and it means a lot to us. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.